Bull everyone from Tokyo, Japan. This is a really informal vlog just to share my experience so far about uh, my trip here to Tokyo in uh, Japan. Uh, just a big shout out and a big Vinakavak level to um, my sponsors and my partners uh, for travel, Fiji Airways, as well as to my awesome employer, FBC TV, for this amazing opportunity to be in the land of the rising sun and to be in the uh, culinary capital of the world, which is, of course, Tokyo. Now, when I arrived into Tokyo, I wasn't really um, sure of like, you know, like what sort of experience I was going to have. Firstly, because this was my first time. And secondly, uh, because I did my research on um, Tokyo and apparently it's like one of the biggest cities in the world. Like if you've been to like big cities um, in the US um, and then you come to Tokyo, like, yeah, you'll be blown away. There's just so much, uh, so many people everywhere you go. Like there's just hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, Tokyo is is amazing it's like this city has really amazed me like yeah it's blown my mind like i'm just blown away by number one the hospitality of the japanese people like they are so polite um they are very helpful despite the fact that uh, you know that they can't speak um fluent english they go out of their way to actually help you and what i love about uh the japanese people here in tokyo is the fact that um, they won't just like if if you lost like I got lost uh, a few times uh, looking for you know like places I was in the subway and I didn't know where to go or come out of the wrong exit at the subway and then didn't didn't know which direction to turn to go down to like a particular street um, and so I just ask like random Japanese uh, people and so they got of their they got of their way to like walk you. Um, to the to the street and they point you in the right direction like they won't just like tell you where they are so they'll say like go here go there no they actually like go out of their way to like walk you down the street um and and make sure that you you know like you you know where you're actually going uh that's what what actually um really stood out for me is the hospitality of the japanese people like amazing they're very very polite very very respectful um, and yeah, amazing. Secondly, what I, oh my goodness, what I really, really, really love about Tokyo is the food. Now, I'm not sure if you know about, I'm not sure if you know this, but Tokyo is in fact the culinary capital of the world. There's over 160,000 restaurants in this city alone. And if you know what the Michelin, Michelin star is, it's like where you find like really good food. Tokyo has... Uh, the most Michelin stars in, 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 in most of their restaurants compared to any other city in the world. So you, you, when you come to Tokyo, you definitely uh, know that the food that you're going to eat here, regardless of where you get it from, is one, it's tasty. Two, presentation is amazing. Presentation of food in Tokyo, in Japan, is too good. They take so much pride in how they present their food and how they cook their food and it is amazing. Um, now two places that I would definitely recommend if you're visiting Tokyo to go. One is the Ameyoko Markets. Um, they have a great selection of street food and they have a great selection of shopping. So if you love fresh seafood, Amiyoko Market is the place to go. Also down at the Amiyoko Market, they do um, matcha ice cream, which is their green tea ice cream. And whoa, I didn't have one. I had two. I had two servings of the matcha ice cream. One was um, on the cone and the second one I got in a cup so that I could just enjoy the actual ice cream. And uh, yeah, Amiyoko Market um, is is you must visit Amiyoko Market if you come to Tokyo. Make sure you put that on your to-do list. You will be blown away by the um, the, the selection of uh, the Japanese food and the shopping. It's amazing. Um, now, the other place that I definitely would recommend you to go to is Harajuku. 
um, if you watch Gwen Stefani's um, uh, music video, Harajuku Girls, um, yeah, it touches a bit about the Harajuku culture, which is the fashion. Um, and then when you come to Haraj when you go to Harajuku, there is Takeshita Street, which is like the street to be seen at. Now this street has um, a great selection of shops and street food. Now in Takeshita Street alone, there's like Michelin star one like one Michelin star, which is amazing. Michelin star um, street food stalls, which you can uh, visit and. You will just be blown away by the food that they have down the street. Like, I went down Harajuku twice. Um, the first time was because we were filming, so I didn't really have that much time to explore. So on my day off, I went down again to Takashita Street in Harajuku and just started from the north exit. I think it was a north exit. And just ate my way down all the way to the south. So I had um, I had these uh, rolled ice, which was ah, oh, was amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'd see that I've posted up the photos of the rolled ice, um, which oh my goodness, the presentation—it's just so delicate. Like I didn't even want to eat it because it looked so amazing. Like the presentation of this rolled ice and. It, there was like one flavor that tasted like bubble gum, one flavor that tasted like lime, one tasted like that tasted like strawberry. Like every colored uh, rolled ice was, uh, it had a very, it had a different flavor. And then they top it with fresh whipped cream, and uh, Fruit Loops, and, oh, amazing. Then after I finished that, I had um, um the cheese hot dogs now these cheese hot dogs is the one michelin star so it's it's amazing so you get them and then um so what they do is like it's like big blocks of cheese they roll them in like a special dough then then they coat it with chicken and pork powder and then they uh, dip it into like breadcrumbs then they deep fry it and then once it's cooked they serve it to you um, and then when you get it you can put like uh, japanese mayonnaise mustard tomato sauce on it and it is <laughs> the best experience on a stick like if you like hot dogs you haven't had um one of these i mean when you have these you'll be like you don't want to look at any other hot dog you won't look at hot dogs the same again so yeah cheese hot dogs down takashita street and then after that i went and had um calbee's uh, chocolate fries so the line to all these places that i'm talking about by the way just so you know is um is very long because these are uh, places are, are so famous in in tokyo like every tourist every local actually goes here and so you need to like you need to, you need patience to like line up so i would like line up in one of these places for like maybe 20 minutes until i get served but you know it's worth the wait so yeah, so Kelby's chocolate fries, it's like potato fries, it's like thin, and then they just drizzle chocolate, Japanese chocolate, all over it. And, oh my gosh, it melts in your mouth. It's amazing. It's just, it's heaven. Takeshita Street, or the food in, in, in Tokyo is like food heaven. You'll just be amazed. Um, and then once I finished that, um, I went um, down and then had... Uh, one of those gelatos like green tea like and the way that they serve it too like you these like all these different um uh, types on the menu so i actually got and then it's all like shade it's all like that it's like decorated like animals so <laughs> yeah the presentation of food is just too good i definitely definitely recommend anyone that's watching this video to um if you're thinking about um, traveling to exploring places that you haven't been to, definitely recommend um, Tokyo, Japan. And the good thing about um, Tokyo, Japan, if you live in Fiji, is that Fiji always flies three times a week to Narita International Airport. And the flight's like only nine hours. And on the plane, like you, you get distracted. I'm sure a lot of you that have done long hauls 
you know, like you understand, like you get distracted by the movies, the awesome service on board Fiji Airways, the food is great on Fiji Airways, like, yeah, it, it was, it, it, I can never fault Fiji Airways, like the service, the food, everything about Fiji Airways is great, and then you land in Narita, um, and then it's just like smooth transition through immigration, through customs, and then you get to Narita, and then you catch, um, the Narita Express, which is like their subway. Everything in Tokyo is subway because the city is so big. It's much cheaper to catch um, the train from Narita Airport into Tokyo or into whatever city that you're staying at. Because Tokyo is massive, right? So it's like a big... It's like a massive... It's, okay, so for example, like it's like, a, it's like the island of Itilevu, Tokyo. And then... Every part of Tokyo is a city. So we, when we first arrived into into Japan, we into Tokyo. Sorry, we stayed at Shibuya. And you know, if you've seen the Shibuya crossing, you've seen Tokyo Drift, the movie, that that really busy crossing. So our hotel was like right next to that that busy crossing. Um, so once again, sorry, I didn't thank the Japan Tourism Organization for put for putting us up in that amazing hotel. Like great hotel. Shibuya XL uh, hotel in um, right next to the Shibuya crossing so check that out it's also a great hotel and it's just above the subway so check that out yeah so anyway the you catching subway so the train station uh, in Narita airport is like underground so you you uh, you land in terminal one and then you go to terminal two to catch the the train the Narita Express into the into the city so it's about an hour and a half and you it's like 60 Fijian dollars which is 3160 yen I think um, yeah and then the 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 train from the airport is like aircon you get numbered seats um, it's Wi-Fi so you can pretty much like check your Facebook updates and Instagram and you know whatever um so yeah so definitely uh again definitely recommending narita uh <laughs> narita definitely recommending tokyo as a must visit destination for food and you will just be amazed so for flight details to this amazing city uh, you know you can check out uh fiji airways www.fijiairways.com they like right now they they are also selling their rugby world cup packages which is being hosted here in tokyo and also the Olympics, 2020 Olympics is in Tokyo. Um, two nights ago, we were I was lucky enough to be taken around the city by Fiji's uh, flag bearer to the 2012 Olympics, John Oulu, and he showed us like all these different places in in Tokyo. And one of them was the Tokyo um, Olympic Stadium, which they which they're building. And wait, well, it's it's massive like if you've been to any olympic games you will understand how massive the structure is and if you haven't been to uh, an olympic games or the stadium so you take the anz stadium at home in suva and you multiply that by i think five times like the 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 size of it it's huge it's like right in the center of the city of Tokyo and it's massive and it's like it's like as tall as the Reserve Bank just to give you an idea of how big it is yeah so yeah I've been to so many cities I've been to so many uh, places around the world and Tokyo is definitely my number one so don't forget to watch our uh, Come Fly With Me video to Tokyo, Japan, with thanks to Fiji Airways and my awesome employer, FBC TV, for when we showcase some of the attractions of this amazing city. And uh, yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. Um, Andy Blake. I'm also on Twitter, at the Andy Blake. And uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Share it to someone that you know that's coming to Japan, to Tokyo. And uh, yeah till my next uh, video very informal video log from my next fiji airways destination it is sayonara from the land of the rising sun